you for joining me today. I am Dima Anake, the founder of DBC Creations. So today I'm going to show you guys how to achieve a perfect airline playground. And without wasting much of your time, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please do so. Give me a thumbs up if you like this tutorial, then share with your friends and family and uh, please stay tuned and keep watching. So guys, welcome back once again. So here will be our starting point. Here we are going to start from. Then, uh, first of all, when constructing your pattern, you have to make sure that the length that you're using is more than the length that, that is required for. Like here, the full length you're going to use is 40. Then uh, it's more than enough. So here becomes our shoulder. And from shoulder to chest is uh, is eight inches. So I'm going to mark eight inches here. While bust is uh, ten, but I'm going to make it ten and half. Under bust is uh, fourteen. I'm going to make it fourteen and half. The waistline is uh, sixteen and half. From the waist to the hip. The full length is uh, 40. So from here, I'm going from this starting point. From this starting point, I'm going to have 40 down. So here is now 40. Then plus two inch plus two inches, which is 42. So so I'm going to mark out a straight line all through here. Here becomes our chest line, here becomes our chest, here becomes our bust, here is our under bust, then here is our waist, then here is the hip, then the other length is, here is the full length, then here is the folding or the seam allowance. So, from here, I said that I'm going to do the neck 4 by 4 so here I'm going to measure 4 and I'm going to measure 4 down so and I'm going to mark it 4 by 4 so I'm going to mark it like so and I'm going to use my my ruler so since I'm going to add zip so I'm going to contour the neck. I'm not going to make the neck to be wide. So I'm going to contour the neck. So, and from her shoulder is uh, 14. Divided by 2 will give me 7. I'm going to add half for inch for seam allowance. So, and her armhole is uh, 8, so her chest line, so so I'm going to draw double armhole. Remember that the back Okay, remember that the back is a normal curve, why the front have a deeper curve more than the back and hole. So, uh, since we have gotten the length of the, the dress, so we are going to get the circumference. The circumference of the chest is 37. 37 divided by 4 will give us 9 points. 9.75 so here so since it's a free gown i'm going to add here is going to be two inches including the interlocking stitches why the bust is 38 38 divided by four 
we give me 9.5 so here I'll also mark my 2 inches the waist is 40 so let me just leave the under boss the waist is 40 divided by 4 will give me 10 10 plus 2 inches why the hip is 42 that's 10.5 plus 2 inches so here now becomes the the basic body measurement so for the for the sleeve I'm going to curve it this is now this now becomes the back the back ample this now becomes the back armhole. Why the front armhole? Okay, here now becomes the back armhole. Why the front armhole is going to come in a little bit like half inch. So I'm going to divide this into four. Here, I'll go in by half an inch. So which is here. So I'm going to mark cap. So this point will now meet this point. Why this point will now meet the other point? So that's how it's supposed. This this now becomes the front and hold, then the back and hold. So remember that the front and hold. I'm going to add my seam allowance all through. And the same allowance is going to be half an inch, half an inch. So, and concerning the basic body measurements, here now is the or you can draw like this down to the from the arm from the chest to the waist then from waist to hip but before before cutting out before cutting out i'm going to cut out from the hip then this full length from this place i'm going to my nose one inch or uh, seven point five inches for my shoulder slope. Okay. Plus seam allowance. And here I'm going to mark add my seam allowance to the neckline. So I will not have a wide neckline. Always remember that. So from here, I'm going to, it's either you cut this out or you cut from here depending on where you want the flay to start like I don't want the middle part to have flay so I'm going to cut and I'm going to measure this and okay and I'm going to mark out 4 4 inches all through like this is 12 inches then 12 divided by 3 so Like I mark, you can mark like four, three, three inches, four, four inches, depending on what you want. So I'm going to make a straight line. I'm going to cut.
so guys as you all can see this is where i wanted the flay to start i didn't add much inches at the middle part and i didn't add much i added i added like extra here so i'm going to mark out So guys, that's that. That's how this looks like. So this now becomes the, the gown, and uh, here is where the here now becomes where the <laughs> the flare will not lie. So if you like, you can close here up. You can close the middle part up then increase your flame here and then you can cut out and achieve the style you want hello guys i hope you enjoyed those videos so <laughs> i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope it's really really informative and uh, helpful for you guys so i really appreciate you stopping by watching this tutorial and i hope you guys will put this tutorial into you know and i hope you find it so super helpful